Thanks, You're not you. getting a huge amount of great press at the moment. Do you think this is um, taking away from your cause somewhat? I, I keep um, appearing on interviews such as this and I say it isn't a cause. And um, there's a real... Um, the, the, the information isn't being conveyed properly. So I wonder if the um, panellists have read the report released by Chatham House last week and it says this, that if emissions do not come down radically by 2030, 10 million people a year will experience heat stress exceeding the survivability threshold. Now, I'd like to ask the panellists, mm. do they understand what survivability threshold is jargon for? Do you want to tell us? Because this has got nothing to do with what you're talking about. Yeah. So I'll answer your question when you actually tell us what that means. Because you throwing these big words doesn't actually make Can't any difference to somebody... If I can finish my point, it doesn't make any difference to somebody who's been sat a in a car for three hours. How is that going to make them insulate their homes? No, I asked you a question about what survivability threshold means. Tell us. It means that they're going to fry to death. Okay. Right. And what has that got to do with an individual in now? Years. That's in what has 10 that years. Got... That's in 10 what That's has that got to do with time. somebody now on 2021, on the 5th of October, who is actually being affected, can't get to hospital? You've got paramedics who are trying to move your protesters out of the road. They could die now. So why is anyone going to think about 10 years when, guess what, they're dying right now because of your actions? Are 10 million people dying now? It, so for you, 10 million people matter more than one person. Let me ask you this. You've asked me a question. Let me ask you this. If your mother, if your mother, if your mother, if you allow me to finish, if your mother was in an ambulance and she needed to be rushed to hospital, are you telling me you wouldn't move out of that road to allow her to get to hospital? Let's look at another fact. Well, answer my question. Let's look at another fact. Hold on, I'm going to stop you there, Shay. Hold on, Liam. Let's look at another fact. Liam, hold on, I'm going to stop you there as well. And I'm going. I'm just going to... Why don't you want to talk about the Why don't you want to talk about what you're doing? Answer the question. What would you do, your mum? Very simple question. Answer it. I'm saying to the gov the government have a responsibility yeah, well, yeah, in this yeah. and they answer can end it immediately question. if they gave us a meaningful statement. Okay, answer Liam, the Liam I can this see that you're not going to answer that question. Now, as you mentioned, the government needs to make changes to their policy and they need to start moving to insulate homes. That's what you want to see. And I think we can all agree that better insulation in homes Absolutely. is uh, is what we, what is needed. Absolutely. Um, why aren't you targeting DEFRA? Why aren't you talk targeting um, ministers, why aren't you targeting people specifically that can make the changes instead of the general public who are just suffering at the hands of what the protesters are doing? Well, Anna said earlier that this isn't protesting and I entirely agree with her. This is about civil resistance. This is about what's right and what's wrong. And I'd like to ask the panelists, they're, incre they're, inc <laughs> they're credible journalists, they're intelligent people. Okay. Do they understand what global dimming is? Oh, for Do they understand sense. what the carbon lag is? No, because Do you're not doing a very good job. Do they understand what the Arctic job. Blue Ocean event is? Yeah, Liam, Do they understand we, that Liam, the Arctic is about to melt Liam, and we Liam. face an absolute catastrophe? I'm going to, Liam, I'm going to stop you there. We're talking about no, traffic Liam, jams. We're talking about traffic jams. You're not answering our... Liam, you're not answering our questions with all due respect so we're going to not go into the jargon there yeah, i also I'm want to put to you the reality of the situation the front, that we're currently in which I, means millions of people are going to suffer yeah, but people liam, yeah but other other protesters to that reality liam liam you're refusing sorry, to connect emotionally to that reality liam other protesters who feel the exact same way as you about we're not protesting about, i've just said yeah, we're not protesting yeah, not. other people resisting. who feel the exact same way as you are extinction rebellion and one of their members roger Callum has said that he'd let your patient die, meaning the person in the ambulance, he'd be quite happy to block their road and let them die. How do you feel about that comment that's been made? Yeah, it's an awful situation, isn't it? It's a terrible situation, but it's the reality of what's happening. You're blocking roads, ambulances aren't getting through. And people I've are just suffering. said to you what the reality is. And what the reality is, is what Sir David King says, is that what we do in the next three to four years will determine mm. the future of humanity. So why don't you target the people why, that can make the what changes? Bit of that, what bit of that sentence don't you understand? I why are you devoid of empathy Liam, when Liam, you can't connect to this reality Liam, that millions of Liam. people are going to suffer? 
Liam. And we have to repeatedly come onto these programmes and tell you yes. that what's going on here is the destruction of our country. But, Liam. And you repeatedly, time and again, refuse to accept no, the reality of you're that you're situation. Liam, Liam, you're no, missing... You don't. Liam, because let, if let you me did, finish. You'd be on the roads with Liam, us. Liam, Liam, you you're missing... No, you wouldn't. Liam, no, you wouldn't. Liam, you're missing the point, which is what you no, do. What I'm you do sorry. is is you're trying to educate people. That's apparently what you're trying to do. You're trying to change policy, no, educate people, and all. get action. You're trying to get action, no, that's not, and no, that's and then you criticise people for asking you questions <clears throat> without understanding. Is that that if you did your job better, mm. we would understand and support you. But what you're doing is you are alienating. The very people you're trying to persuade to do the stuff that you believe in. Don't you understand that? You're actually defeating no. your own object. You're, you're no, pickling you off understand. millions of people, love. No, no, you don't understand how power works. And we've got... No, we're I don't. Saying no. To what the power have you got? We're saying, it, what power have you got? Saying, you're sat on a road saying, oh, we're not going to move now. Do exactly. What you want. That's not it's power. If you've got real it? power, really? Liam, firstly, if you've got real power, it's you would be on this show showing empathy to those people yeah, who are working absolutely. day and night trying to get to work or get home who have lost loved ones because of the coronavirus pandemic and actually just what... They agree with what you're saying. It's not that... Look, I don't exactly. disagree with what you're saying. The difference is you come here with such arrogance and say, the way that we're doing it is the only right way. Well, actually, Actually, I'm here to tell you that you're wrong. And people like you disgust individuals like us because your message is now being filtered out. No one cares about what you are trying to say. Ultimately, people are angered by you. That's not going to bring about change. Whether you think it is or not, no one is now thinking and about insulating Britain. You don't even insulate your own home, apparently. Yeah, I mean, we're terrible hypocrites, aren't we? Well, well you why, said it. Why, well, not, 